companies who would partner with UND in the advancement and commercialization of university innovations and discoveries. It has never been a financially successful operation. UND uh, has provided lease payments for a portion of the building and subsidized operations through other payments so that the foundation could meet its financial obligations. Under President Kelly's leadership, it was decided that UND should purchase the building and take over management of it from the UND Research Foundation. Last January, you, the board, authorized UND to proceed with such an arrangement by obtaining legislative approval, and then delegated to the chancellor the approval of that transaction. During the legislative session, however, there were discussions about who should actually participate in those negotiations, and the law specified the State Board of Higher Education. When I assumed this office in late June 2013, I was not aware that this transaction required special handling, a fact I learned on October 4th, two weeks after the closing on all financial arrangements. I have come to the conclusion that we should have handled the purchase of the REACT 1 building differently and I take responsibility for that. I apologize for any confusion or ill will this has caused the board, the legislature, UND, or the university system. The last thing I wanted to do was to create any more controversy for the university system and I'm very sorry that I did. Madam Chair. Thank you, Dr. Skogan. Uh, yes, Mr. Shaft. Madam Chair, Chancellor Skogan, my understanding is that the, the legislature, uh, their committee looking at this is ongoing. Is that correct? Uh, we, uh, we did meet with the uh, uh, Government Finance Committee and uh, we explained uh, how uh, we had initially viewed that and, and gave our side of it. And then uh, I was told that they would meet again in March. And then we recently received the agenda for that upcoming meeting. And what they are asking, and we are now consolidating, is a list of facilities that are on state-owned or other lands that um, are operated or funded through foundations that uh, have financial obligations for the institutions. So we are compiling that list now. And the reason I ask, uh, Madam Chair and Chancellor Scogan, is I wasn't at the the last meeting, but but by following the accounts uh, of the meeting, it's my observation that you 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 have a legislative committee that has arrived at their conclusion prior to the hearings, and and if that is the case, and and it seems just by the line of questioning and and some of the information that's being requested. <clears throat> I'm wondering if there isn't some fruit to at least engaging the legislative leadership on the ultimate question of what, what is the remedy you're seeking. Because that's, that's, you know, I understand the process that this went through and, and certainly your explanation, but it seems as though they're digging and digging and digging looking for an ultimate remedy and I'm trying to picture in my head what that remedy would be and <clears throat> at least as a board member I'd like to know sooner rather than later you know w what their thoughts are on that yeah. um, we, we certainly have a Gordian knot here mm -hmm. um, and I think it's made out of titanium mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and uh, thus probably impossible to cut so I don't know what the solution is either I know that uh, in, in bringing this to a close, I, I felt it was important to acknowledge that uh, we should have handled it differently. Um, but I don't know that that's, that puts anything in reverse. And I, I have been engaged with the legislators in, involved in this, uh, to s some of them at any rate, and have had conversations with them. And it really is that, um, th that these conversations that occurred during the legislative session that I was not aware of uh, seem to, you know, their consternation turns on that, and and I get that. Right, and and, and I agree with with your observation. <clears throat> My concern is is as we dig into the budget process, et cetera, if if there's legislators, particularly some of the leaders who are of the mind, and I'm speaking hypothetically here, that 
the ultimate remedy for them is this is going to affect a, a future capital project at UND, which we've, we've visited those issues before on various campuses. It would be nice, it, at least as a board member, to try to have some ideas to where they're going with this in advance. Um, because it could be a bit of a domino effect. I'd rather not see that remedy just come in a piece of legislation after we have gone through the budget process, pretty much solidified our situation, whether it's capital projects or otherwise. Um, and so again, and I think you understand what I'm asking, it, I think it, it, in this case it's best to be as, as upfront as we can and just say, you know, where are we ultimately going with this? Uh, because we need to know that for the process we're going through, and I'd, I'd rather deal with it now than right at the session. No, I agree. Who would have that answer? Well, I, I think you'd get a decent idea out of out of committee. I mean, not not to say that the legislature can't act on their own later on, but but I think you'd get a decent idea out of the committee. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Shaft. Okay, moving on to oh yes. yes. Yes, ask Perry. a question. Um, you know, I know sometimes can't you remind us that some of us haven't been here as long, and, and so I would just ask a question. A ask the question. Um, you know, so I the way I read the legislative language, um, it's that the the state board is supposed to negotiate a contract. And um, can, I mean, uh, when are we allowed to? I mean, I would assume that we can. Would we have done it any differently? I'm, is what I'm saying. I mean, wouldn't we always? I can't imagine that we would all get together and try to negotiate as this body. It seems to me this is something we always delegate to the chancellor or someone else, you know, I mean, to, to manage for us. And so, I'm, you know, if you could explain to me, what, I, it's not clear to me when, um, when we, what we weren't supposed to do here, what we were supposed to do. Is that a question for me? Yeah. Well, sure. I, or I, you know, I mean, I know you've. I don't. I don't think we actually have an answer to that. Um, uh, in my view, and at least my, my sole view, the, the legislature looks at this as though they visited it during the session as a very special matter. And, and the language of board involvement to them, uh, jumping inside their minds here a little bit, was that this would undertake a level of scrutiny different than what we typically would, as you described, uh, delegate to the chancellor. I don't think that that was necessarily clear to, to board members either, but but I think that's the position that the legislators who are pushing this, that's the position they're taking is there was a level of scrutiny that should have come to the board versus our, our normal process. I, I agree with the chancellor in, in that <clears throat> we're at loggerheads on this. I mean, as a board and as a system, we can throw ourselves on the sword on this to whatever degree we can, but it seems at least in my observation of the process is that they're looking for some resolve. And, and the issue is is that the, the transaction has been completed. Uh, am I correct? That's what I mean. It's been completed. The transaction is completed. And therefore, at least the contractual lawyer in me thinks that it's difficult to unravel that. So where where are we? Uh, even if we were just for argument's sake to turn to the committee and say we admit complete fault here, but what do we do? And 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 that's my point is I'd like to know what they think we should do now <laughs> rather than well yeah and I guess my question was more how do we avoid this in the future? You know we're supposed to know that this particular thing is to be treated differently, and even then I. I, I, I can't imagine, like I said, the eight of us sitting down and trying to negotiate a contract. I, it seems like something we would always want to delegate um, to, you know, the chancellor or the president involved. And so I'm just kind of, in the, you know, in the interest of avoiding future problems, I'm trying to figure out what we what we were supposed to do. And I just, you know, based on your experience, I wondered if you had any insight there. But well, nothing other than to say that this was a fairly unique situation. Uh, I mean, it was addressed singularly by the legislature and special language in the legislature. And so it's, it's something that probably doesn't have a lot of application to what we do across the board uh, in other matters. My, my personal view is that 
you know, there are, there are other questions that maybe need to be asked, not regarding the REACT building, but the Centers of Excellence process, uh, you know, to, to a certain degree. We're partners in that process simply because we allow those facilities to be built on our land, our land meaning land owned and controlled by the Board of Higher Education. Um, and we, we have a limited engagement as, as, as far as the activity that takes place there, but one gripe I've always had is that we tend to get hung if things don't go right, and, and I've never been really comfortable with that. And so that opens up an, another d discussion that I wish maybe the committee would look at, which is a broader discussion um, as to centers of excellence, but, but with regard to this, um, it's, 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 it's kind of a singular issue. I, th I think it also there's probably a larger issue when we have we have organizations or boards that operate outside they're not under the control of the president of the campus they have their own board um, you have your foundation board you have um, the entrepreneurship board at UND and I'm sure there's there's so many boards I'm not even aware of and I just I just wonder what kind of risk we take on as a as a boardman that when that is going on across the state. Well, to some degree, we're finding that out now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any other comments? Okay. Thank you, everybody. Uh, moving on, item number five, North Dakota Student Association Report. Oh.